Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be your October 2024 love reading. However, time is fluid, so anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. Also, energy is fluid, so the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but as I always say, never force the reading. If it's for you, it will flow, never force it. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you may click on the link in the description box below. Guys, please be engaging, like, share, comment, and or subscribe. I've been on a hiatus. The algorithm is going against rotating my videos. I need to get it back out there to as many of you as possible, okay? So all that we ask as tarot readers is just to, sh to let us know what you think of the video, all right? Thank you in advance. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Show me the messages. This is for Sagittarius and for those who have Sagittarius placements. Show me Sagittarius's current situation and love. Show me the current situation and love. Okay. Wow, I caught flipped all the way around. Show me more, please, Sagittarius. there's a very toxic person that you're separated and or broken up from okay it could be a capricorn it could be any sign this person is coming in they're coming in really cocky knowing that they can get you back all right coming in fast because the king of swords is, is moves very quickly this may be out of nowhere, but this person is determined to come in, very cocky, knowing that they always get what they want when they come back to you. But the problem that I have with them is the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is a very um, selfish energy. This person is taking advantage of your kindness. That's the problem that I have with this person. Um, this person may have money problems, and that's their motivation to come in. Um, they may even present you with something saying basically that they have this big idea, this big plan, this big business deal, something that they're determined to make work and they need your help. Do not give this person money. Nine of Pentacles is here. I see you as very abundant, even financially, financially stable, taking care of yourself. And this person may come in and try to get you to do something for them, okay? Again, this person knows that you're very generous and they tend to want to abuse that generosity. So be very careful, all right? It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sag, all right? So show me more for this relationship, please. The quake, the breakdown here. Okay, the Hermit tells me you guys are not communicating either. This person went quiet. You two are not talking to each other. Um, this person comes off like I'm getting this very aloof energy that happened from this person. They went quiet um, and now they want to come in saying that, you know, they want to have this relationship and that they're, you know, again, ambition is here. Page of Pentacles is here. So some sort of message or something around money. I feel like money is their motivation. But they want to come in and say, I'm ready to be to, to, to commit with this. This person doesn't have much. Page energy is very small. Okay, but they see you as stable and giving, and that's why they're targeting you. But this is this might have already happened already, or this is a prediction. But this is the breakdown here is this person acts like they don't care, they go out of the way, they don't care, they go quiet, they disappear, and then they come back. And that's the problem that you have with this person. And you could be connecting with an Aries or a Virgo. Show me more, please, for the breakdown here. Yeah, this person be, is very deceptive. They keep pulling back their emotions. They keep disappointing you. I feel like the way they approach this connection is very unrealistic. You feel like they're playing games with you. And again, and I feel like the Page of Pentacles, it's, it's very breadcrumbing energy. But at the same time, this person never had that much to give in the first place. But with this Knight of Cups reverse, it's telling me that this person is being deceptive. Like, they go quiet. The reason why this person keeps disconnecting from you um, Sagittarius is because they like to avoid conflict. So as soon as they feel like they've upset you, they go quiet. And that's the breakdown hit too. This person shuts you out and they shut down, okay? So now with the tower reverse at the bottom of the deck, it's like now this person is wanting to return after a tower moment. Um, show me their feelings towards you. What is this person's feelings and intentions? They're having a lot of setbacks, okay? They didn't expect things to be as bad as it's been for them. This Wheel of Fortune reverse here. It's like they're getting their karma for how they treated you. Look at this. Six of Wands reverse failure. They are not doing well, and they received their karma. 
They're, nothing's going the way that they thought it was going to go. And they see you as someone who's very abundant, okay? Very abundant and somebody that's an asset to them, okay? Um, with the judgment we've reversed the bottom of the deck, this person does feel guilty for how they treat for how they treat you. However, they're not willing to be accountable. There's an inability to face the facts. Judgment reverse. You could be connecting with the Taurus or um, a Libra. Show me more for this person's feelings for Sagittarius. Yeah, they're going to come in being charming with a little something. They may gift you something or they may send you a sweet little message. It's not much. They don't have that much to give. I have the Page of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. This person doesn't have much to give, but they're going to use their charm to get what they want from you. Okay? So show me your feelings. What are your feelings for Sagittarius? You're focused on your success with this chariot here. You're very ambitious, and this is why you're very successful. You 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 have control over your emotions. You're, you're not like emotionally unstable, or you don't make emotionally impulsive decisions when it comes to this person. You're just determined to focus on yourself. Is what I'm getting. Okay, you can be connected with the Cancer, the King of Wands reverse. You see this person as somebody that has a lot of financial problems. So you're aware that this person has a lot of financial problems. They make poor decisions when it comes to business. Um, and then they have the audacity, like if you try to tell this person something or suggest they do something a different way, this person gets very disrespectful or aggressive or, you know, defensive. And they promise you so much, but they never deliver. And then they get mad at you when you question it. But the world here is showing me um, that, you know, you're, you're in a new cycle in your life. Um, show me the world. Some of you may be with someone else already. Why is the world here, please? Yep, you did. You close out this cycle with this person. Yep. There's nine of cups reverse. This a disappointing relationship. You feel like it's shattered for good and there's an ace of wands here. So I feel like there's somebody here that you feel fulfilled with. You have a lot of passion for and you feel complete like this is your person. Meanwhile, this person is planning to come back again and wanting to ask you to help them. Very strong, Sag. Your energy, um, Aries and um, Leo energy. So what advice do we have? Yeah, the audacity of this person. <laughs> they, have, they have nothing but problems. This person is an opportunist. Please keep that. Please be aware, okay? This person has not returned, okay? Um, mm. three, the three of cups reverse is telling me that this person is not committal, seeing someone else, seeing other people. It, um, there's deception here, okay? So this person is coming back to appear like they want to be with you. Meanwhile, they're seeing other people or definitely another person, right? But I do see with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups reverse, this person is returning and they're going to be coming towards you, okay? They're traveling towards you, but the problem is this is somebody that you can't trust. All right, so advice. This card is turned over. The... The moon reverse tells me that something's going to come out that's being hidden. So I feel like even this betrayal, like you may find out on your own, what's done in the dark eventually comes to light. Something is going to come out and you're going to be like, it's like almost like it, you're like, okay, I kind of knew that. For some of you, I feel like it already came out because the moon is here. So it's like it's, you may be aware that this, this person deceived you and you already know, but you've moved on anyway. Right, so this person is like has the audacity to return to you. And you're like, but you betrayed me. Like, okay, so take it as it resonates, guys. It could be a Pisces. Yeah, this person definitely did, and I feel like it was more than one time with the temper misreverse that you found out this person was a cheater. Okay, and now you're happy with someone else, and now this person wants to come towards you. Meanwhile, Queen of Swords reverse is showing me that you're very aloof in your energy now yourself, and you don't care. You have no feelings for this person. It's not hatred, it's not love, it's not nothing. It could be uh, Aquarius, a Libra, um, or Gemini. Any sign, guys. So the advice, please. This card came out sideways, so I only read uprights and reversals. Show me advice, please. What advice do we have for... I don't really think we really need that much advice because you're in a happy connection. Yeah, you're with somebody that you trust that's very emotionally mature, the King of Cups is here. You're happy with your work, whatever you do for a living, you're happy with it. You know, some of you in school, you're happy with that. And then you're happy with this person that you have in your corner, This because this other person was draining. 
the force was reversed, they drained you. And, you know, it, just thinking about them is very triggering. So, you know, you're just focusing on what it is that you have. So when I ask for advice, you really don't need it. But thinking about this person is draining to you. Continue to hold back from this person. They are going to come back around. You already know that. The full reverse is you holding back from somebody that you know is manipulative and inconsiderate and selfish and all those things. Meanwhile, the Three Pentacles shows you here with your person. Um, somebody that you're seeing now may have a child or children, you know, you do. And this person, you know, they come together. It's, you guys are like a blended family. I love that. And you're not really thinking about this person much. I feel like there's this anxiety with this force was reversed of this person coming back around. And that's why you're at this reading because you're like, I'm so happy. And I feel like every time I'm happy, this person tries to come around and shit all over it. And you don't want that interference. Right? Yeah, this person's going to come back. They're, they're feeling disconnected from you. They don't like it. They're just trying to figure out the right time to come back in. They are depressed. They've experienced their karma. But, you know, that's not your problem. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold. They're struggling financially. Five of Pentacles is here. You can be connected with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest you. Now they feel the heartbreak because they have the karma. They're like, I can't believe um, Sagittarius is really over me. And they're trying to manifest you. Okay? With the star here. Um... You're happy. The sun's here. The most positive card in the deck. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest you. They want you back. They want to heal the connection. They're, they're devastated, but it's too little too late. You're happy. You have somebody who's open, honest, transparent. It's easy. This is true happiness. You feel like you won. You could be connecting with a Leo. And you're just feeling very optimistic about the future with this person that you're with. The Queen of Cups reverse has shown me that you've pulled back your emotions from this person. You're not willing to give to this person. This person that you were with, you feel like you overgave. You're like, there's a certain point that I went way past where I should have walked away from this. So you're not giving to this emotionally at all, okay? You feel like it's unnecessary drama. You don't want no parts of it, all right? So you've got your clarity. Seven of Cups reverse. So the advice is the King of Pentacles reverse. Focus on what you have, this wonderful connection with this person that's stable, this person that you feel safe with, this person that you can count on, this person who chose you. They don't want nobody else. They're very clear about what they want, okay? Yeah, instead of this person that keeps you, can kept you confused and stuck and didn't communicate effectively and this person that gaslit you, or stonewall you every time you want to talk. This reckless person oh, that's so complacent and not willing to compromise. Very compl um, this person, again, made so many promises they couldn't keep. They were very reckless. Just continue to stand your ground when it comes to this person, okay? Be resilient. Keep pushing. You're, you're, you know, you're persevering. You're successful. Just continue loving and being happy. And don't let this person tear that down, okay? I'm getting that this is going to be a test of your faith when this person tries to come back around. Just stand your ground, all right? So before we move on, I'm going to pull... I feel like I need to go with whatever deck I am being drawn to. I feel like I'm... I'm going to pull on these oracle messages, all right, to see what this person is thinking and feeling. This person that you're leaving behind. So you can give yourself closure, full closure, okay? Sagittarius, show me the messages, please, for Sagittarius. What is this person thinking but not telling Sag? Wow. It's time for me to heal now. <sighs> this person knows that they're damaged, that they have a lot of trauma that they need to, to work on. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Yeah, it's like because every time this person left, you were broken. You felt broken. They, you were devastated. And then this person would come back when you're trying to heal. They would come right back in. Right as you're getting to a good point in your healing, here comes this person again. And this person kept doing that. There's a cycle of that. We play our conversations over and over. This person is listening to old voicemails or just remembering in their head certain things. I hid behind material things. Yes. 
they tried to make it look like to everybody else that everything was beautiful and your connection and you know cuz you know you you had it going on financially this person didn't but you took care of this person you held this person down and this person made it look like played it off as if they had it going on sometimes i stay awake thinking about you this person can't stop getting this person can't stop thinking about you they can't they know what they what they lost and it's just too little too late is what i'm getting okay i wonder if you are happy without me and the answer is yes you are happy without this person i am afraid to contact you yeah they're afraid because they know i remember detail i remember every day i remember every detail of that day is at the bottom of the deck so they remember the very last time that y'all spoke before this last separation and and how it ended this person has a lot of regrets a lot of pain but they have not changed okay so just continue to be happy with the person that you are with that is your gift from the universe all right so those are the messages that i have for you for this reading sagittarius if it resonated be sure to tap that like button if you're interested in a personal reading do click on the link in the description box below be engaging leave a comment like share comment subscribe anything it helps my channel to re reignite and grow again i do appreciate that guys i wish you healing love and light and i will see you again on the next one bye